U.S. President's terrible plan against Pakistan. Mohammad Qasim says that, that in this dream I came to know that the President of the United States is going to discuss a secret plan. I think this plan will also be about Palestine. Then I say that this plan can also be a very important plan against the Muslims. I should also go there and see what the President of the United States will say. Then I sat on a plane and went there. The President of USA was sitting in some office-like place and some other people were sitting there too. I go inside there also, and no one noticed. Then suddenly the U.S. president stood up and there was a paper in his hand and he said, Hi India. I said that, what does it mean and why did he say this? Then the U.S. president showed the paper to everyone and I became surprised on seeing that paper. There was a map of Pakistan and India on it of the same color. And then U.S. president said that, now Pakistan will be controlled by India. And he signed the map and laughed loudly and showed the map after signing it and kept on laughing that now India will control Pakistan. I am saddened to see that he was planning for Pakistan and he must have said Jai Hind and not Hi India. I can't believe it happened so quickly. I run back and tell the people of Pakistan that the United States has a plan for Pakistan after Palestine. Get up and save this country. They said that Qasim. Such plans have been made against Pakistan before, but nothing happened, and Pakistan is still here, and our army is very strong too, and no one can dare to even consider challenging Pakistan, and we have defeated India many times before too. I said that, yes, but we shouldn't underestimate the oppressive forces, and this time India has other forces too. Don't you all remember that Muslims thought the same in the Battle of Ul? Initially, they thought that they had won the battle, but suddenly they were caught off guard and the tables were turned and Muslims suffered heavy losses. We shouldn't underestimate our enemy, and as they are planning, we should plan to save our country too. Then I went another way. On the way, I saw some birds flying in the sky. I said that what kind of birds are these? And when I looked closely, those weren't birds but the planes of enemy flying at a very high altitude. Seeing them, I am very upset that even the planes of the enemy have started flying in Pakistan, and it is not known whether they are planes or birds, but they are flying a lot. Then I went to some huge building and met some people there, and told them the same thing, and they too said that Pakistan's army will take care of it. I said that, how much work will Pakistan's army do? Are they responsible for everything? And you people aren't responsible for anything? I said the army is doing everything that it can, but due to lack of funding, the enemy attacks from where Pakistan army is not present and Pakistan is losing money too. The army can't fight without the funds. Then I walked away from there and came home and started to think that all these people are sleeping. How can their plan be stopped from being completed? And the dream ended there.